are so crazy. Uh, oh, that's good. I don't know. I don't know. My tattoo, it fucking stings. I don't know why it's burning so bad. Is that normal? Do a 360. How many tats? I just got my first real one um, two days ago. I have this one on the back of my neck. Um, it's another little lotus. It was supposed to be, but it was... I was actually just showing before and like the heart part was long so that's like why it's now the like, little leaf part and then we had to like put a little um stem on it but i wanted it to be like one of these lotus flowers and um i finally got one done and i'm so motherfucking happy thank you i didn't go to a shop um i wanted to i wanted to go to like a real place um but i love this guy he's like just starting out and for just starting out like and everything he did really good like i i'm like really impressed um it's really like centered and he did good but so my friend she gets her hair braided super fucking pretty braids but the girl who braids her hair her boyfriend does tattoos and he's like just starting out and i was like bitch you could practice on me and you did it for a hundred bucks but whatever now i'm gonna get tied it up i really want one like right here and then i want one behind my ear like kind of going down my neck um but i also want one like right here um i'm thinking because i have this right here it was supposed to be a coco chanel it hurt so fucking bad dude i was like really drunk and I was bleeding really bad from this, actually, because I'm, like, really iron deficient. I just ooze out blood. <laughs> the guy, when he was doing me, he was like, are you okay? You're bleeding a lot. And I'm like, oh, I'm all good, dude. Feels good. And, um, yeah, I couldn't even finish that one. I want to get it covered up. I don't know what I want to do there, though. I love this shirt. It's, like, really cute. Where am I from? Bay Area, baby. Uh, Santa Cruz. Born and fucking raised. Shirt is fire. Thank you. Dude, I actually... Hold up. You're in Vegas? Hey, Dude, I really want to get a fake ID. But I don't know if it's, like, worth it. If I should just wait till I turn 21. It's, I turn 19 in a few months. So, it will only be a few more years. <laughs> but I really want to fucking go. All right. You know what? Might just have to. I really, I want to wear this shirt. This one is, ooh. Bitch, hold up. Bitch. I don't wear any print ever, and I really want to start doing it. Let's see it on. My dad's going to come home soon. <laughs> uh, oh, actually... I just got the perfect dress for Vegas because um, I don't wear dresses really, sadly, and it's like a bodycon dress. I just need to like kind of cinch it in the back because it's like super, like I have a tiny little waist and it's really big. I'm trying to gain weight. If y'all have any tips like protein powders or anything that helps you gain weight, send it this way, please. Because I swear to God, a bitch is, like, struggling for three years now. And it's from doing drugs, not gonna lie. Um, I did a lot of coke, and, um, it fucking killed me, dude. It, like, ate every... I had... I was so strong, dude. Like, I did wrestling, kickboxing. I was really strong. And now I'm, like... Like a stick. I got some protein for you. You got that morning protein? Shit. I need that morning sausage. Ugh, it's been six weeks, dude. Since I've had sex. I 
I was just bleeding for six weeks. <laughs> and then my boyfriend just moved to North Carolina. Super strong if you're kicking habits. Thank you. Hi, Mom. <sighs> Off a of Coke. Um, see, I did it, like, last year when my boyfriend went to jail. It was in June. So, like, right when I turned 18, I was doing a bunch. So, um, I'm, like, a few months clean. Um... But, like, before that, I was, like, two years clean. I was doing really good, and I relapsed. And I started going fucking crazy again and dropped down to 105. I was at, like, 115. And I was 120 before, 125. The highest I've ever been was 130, and I was so, oh, my God. I used to beat myself the fuck up and say I was so gross and fat. I see pictures of myself. I'm like, dude, I was beautiful. Like, I had thighs. I had ass, I had titties. How oh, my little titties are they're cute, but like come on. Vegas wing you come on. You have a cookie tour. You have these buffets. That's what I need. I just need to go to a fucking buffet. That's really all I need. Um, I was living at my brother's for like two weeks and then he just kicked me out. Because he was all drunk on St. Patrick's Day and wanted to go out drinking. And I had my first day at work and I didn't want to go out. I was tired. I wanted to go home and celebrate, drink myself. And he wanted me to drive him home while he sits at a bar drinking. And I'm like, no, dude, I'm not doing that. Sorry. And he got fucking pissed at me, started screaming at me. So I cussed him the fuck out. I start going off. I'm like, you're not my dad. Because what he told me was I have to do what he wants to do. And I went silent because he said that. And then he was like, you have to answer me. You can't not talk to me. Like, some weird shit. And, like, I was like, dude, like, you can't. No, no, no. I'm 18 now. I don't have to listen to this. I, this is exactly why. <laughs> we haven't talked in, like, five years. And then I moved back in with him. Because um, I'm, like, struggling right now. And he was trying to help me. As soon as I moved in, I got my permit. I got a job. I got enrolled in fucking school. My behind the wheel test is in like a few days. And I thought that would get him to like back off. But he just like, he kept prying about my life shit that I've been going through. And it's shit I'm not ready to talk about. And that's like really disrespectful. And like, especially for family, you know, you can't do that. The fuck? If I'm ready, I'm ready and I'll talk to you, you know? That's how it is i'm not one of those per persons who like can do that so i, I don't know i need time to process <laughs> before i say something i regret or didn't want to say because i've done that um i've done that lots of times so that's why i don't live with him now because <laughs> um i didn't want to go out to dinner but he texted me last night so he, now he's trying to fight with me again. He said his $1,500 electric bike has gone stolen, like, is gone. He lives out in the middle of nowhere, so there's, like, no one who could just drive up there and fucking take the bike. And he's trying to accuse me of it, and I'm like, you're my brother. Like, I still love you, and I still have so much respect for you no matter what. Why, why would you think I'd do that to you? Like, I would never, that was my biggest thing is I never stole from family and friends. Or small owned businesses. Only corporate. Fuck Target. But like, it really hurts me. I'm like, damn, dude. Like, he still thinks of me as a little kid. He still thinks of me stealing. He still thinks I'm doing drugs. Because that's what I was doing when I lived with him before. But like, I'm actually trying to change and like better my life this time. And it was, yeah. I also, I don't do good with rules. Like, I thought, like, maybe that's what I needed was, like, some stability and a good environment. <sighs> I just don't know what it is. I'm so, like, if if I don't want to do something or if I want to do something, I won't fucking do it or I will fucking do it. <laughs> like, you can't. Gee, you paid when you moved. I did. I did. He's actually with my brother right now. My dad... staying right now this is my little bed um I was just my dad he's supposed to be out of here soon um like by the spring his 
landlord is my uncle's brother and he's trying to get this place fixed up to rent out to his son and my dad's been here for almost two years now and he's telling him he needs to hurry up and get everything done like the downstairs my dad is right now he's trying to paint all these cabinets white um he actually just did this bathroom y'all hit up my dad for work i swear to god please like He's actually really amazing at what he does. He just, he can't work for a company and, you know, like he did all this tile work himself. There's a few things that need to be fixed, like shit like this that he's going to clean up. But like the flooring he's done, he's going to put in a washer and dryer here, put in all new floors, fucking paint everything, get a fucking everything in here. Dude, it's just like, it's sad because like almost two years now and my dad when he does work is super fucking fast but for himself he doesn't do shit but um yeah i can't bring my fish here because there's nowhere for me to put him he bought the house no no my uncle's brother bought this house this was a shoe shop before because right is this hair salon right here it's actually place that I first got my hair cut it's the town we live in is so small my parents know everyone they've known those people since my mom was pregnant with me and then it was weird as fuck that my uncle's brother just bought this place right next to them um but yeah my brother's taking care of my beta right now I'm kind of thinking of selling him just because I can't give him a good life right now and I'm all over the place, and if I go to North Carolina, I can't take a fish. And I know that there's other people out there, just like me, who love animals, who love fish, who will take care of it. I have the whole setup, so they don't need to go get anything. If y'all are in Santa Cruz and you want a beta for free with a whole ass 50, or 50, it's a 10 gallon tank with a heater, with the Temperature gauge, everything. Hit me up. Because um, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. It's not fair to the animals. That's what it is. Like, I don't even feel comfortable with my dog. Because my dog has stopped playing. She won't eat. She will barely go poop. She's so nervous of where we are. It's like, right on this busy-ass street. That's where she goes pee and poop. <laughs> Dude, I'm up. Really? I fucking... I actually just had a really good morning. Me and Robbie, we fell asleep on FaceTime together. And I didn't think, because, like, we've done that before. Um, I didn't think that it was going to work all night. And then I woke up to him like, Tori, Tori, I just had a dream. I just had a dream about you. And, like, sort of freaking out at me. And I was like, what? He was like, I just woke up and I really thought you were next to me. And I started crying. And... I don't know why he does this to me, but he does, and he knows that shit like that is my weakness. And then now his um his mom's like screaming at him, so he had to hang up. But he just woke me up in a really good mood, so at least he's thinking about me. He thought I was like next to him. He was like, I tried to pull you closer, but you weren't there, and I was like. I've been doing that too lately, actually. It's really weird, like, when I wake up, or even, like, just in my sleep, I always need my legs wrapped around him, or a pillow, just, like, something in between my knees, because my knees are really bony. And at night, I've been trying to, like, grab his legs, and he's not there, and then I wake up, and I get all sad. It's fucked up. What does that mean? <laughs> what does it not mean? He made me very happy. Let me tell you what my dreams with you, though. Shit, you don't even want to know my dreams with you, Daddy. Ooh. We have some um, real fun. I actually just posted on my OnlyFans, so. Because <clears throat> we were. See, that's all he uses me for. It's fucked up. He'll call me late at night, and he's like, Oh, show me your pussy. Pull out your toy. Da da da. da. 
And then, like, that's the only thing he ever talks to me about is, like, when he wants to see me naked or see my pussy. And then the whole time he's silent. And then if I try to talk to him, he's like, oh, I'm busy. I'm on my phone. Can't hear you. But he can have time for my pussy. He told me that's all I'm good for. He said that any guy that I've been with, that's all they've been with me for. And that's true. He's not wrong about that. I mean, I've never had a long-lasting relationship. It's all been based off of sex and drugs. (laughs) But it's really shitty to hear that. And, like, if that's how he feels about me, I've been with this guy five years, and I'll never get those years back. And those were my best years. Like, I was 13 years old. I'm now about to turn 19, and I feel like um, it's no one's fault but mine, you know? It really, it's, there's no one to blame but myself. I can blame my family all I want. I can say, oh, you didn't do this for me. You didn't do that. But what the fuck is that going to do? That doesn't fix anything or change anything. I just, it's a pity party, you know? (laughs) I don't need that. Um, I know that I'm strong and I'm built for this, but I just, um, I'm actually very happy with, like, what I'm going through because it's, like, making me a lot more grateful for everything not that i have never (laughs) trust me i'm very fucking grateful but like for the things i've been through because i'm now like i get to like take all that strength that i got from that and use it now and i could be doing a lot worse right now you know but i'm staying positive and i'm reminding myself really like it's stupid as fuck but i swear to god The only reason I'm trying to stay good right now is this fucking, this girl right here. It's my child. Like, I compare her to my child because I, well, before even I loved her like that, but um, now even more because I just went through something really big and she's been there for me through it all. Like, this dog, she's so fucking loyal, you know, like. She's getting older now, and I've been thinking, like, what am I going to do without her? And I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I stay good for you. Because I got to feed you, and you can sense vibes, and I don't want to stress you. Good morning. Oh. Want to go outside? Go party? You got to go pee-pee? Hmm? Yeah. Let me take my more. I'll have many more years. Like, definitely, probably eight or nine, hopefully. But she has, like, wires in her. And they told me that when she gets older, it's going to be very hard for her. And um, that's why, I'd like, I should actually give her some now. Um, I've been giving her CBD. I've been trying to change her diet, too, because... one who thinks this is crack for dogs like this is not this is not good food this is like not and she likes dry food i actually just got her um this is her whole big bag this is what i'm trying to get her to eat because she likes wet food and i usually like give her one of these in the morning um but i just got her I don't really, like, I'm trying to find good dog brands. I need, probably should do research. But, um, the lady at the store recommended me this one. Candade pet food made by pet people. Just chicken, rice, and carrots. You know what? I should actually do that. See, I went to the store last night because I always give her a treat. She's so spoiled. She gets to eat this breast i wanted to grab her the fucking one from the deli but i went at like 10 o'clock when they were closed and there was nothing in there so i had to just get her some pre-packaged maybe like science diet dry food Ooh, science diet can you get that like because i go to this like kind of like a this is family owned business called aptos feed um or pet pals they go there i don't really go to pet smart I just don't really, you know, fuck with them, but get it from the vet. Ooh, actually, I need to take Lady to the vet because I need to get all of her papers because Stephanie didn't send them to me. 
and now I have no proof that she's my dog and um, I don't really know how I'm gonna do that do I like go to the shelter where I got her or do I go to a regular vet like where she'd get all of her checkups where can I get all of her paperwork because um if I do end up flying out to North Carolina which I just don't know right now um, I'm gonna take her with me and I need all of her papers like her rabies shots and um, something else either one okay I'm gonna talk to his mom today and see I'm pretty sure she just went to PetSmart um, for like all their vaccines and shit but um how would I like how would they look her up in the system by her chip I think she has a chip in her has to she's a rescue I also CBD dog treats. Um, I'm pretty sure these are human grade too. Like you can eat these. I don't know if they taste good, but they usually say it. That's why I'm kind of like hesitant to do it. I know the like tincture ones are, um, some of them are human grade. My fucking sister-in-law, she has one that's human, human grade. And I was just watching her and she's just like fucking squirting them in her mouth. And I'm like, what the fuck dude, that goes in your dog's mouth. That's kind of gross. Whatever. Oh, I'm I don't know what this is. I've never heard of it, and I didn't want to feed it to her. Because um, I also heard something called BHA is really bad for your dog's heart. I don't see it in here. I like treats. Let me actually read it. She does not like these. I'm like, whatever, bitch. She's super fucking picky, like, reminds me as a kid, dude. Oh, yeah, see, BHA or BHT. Those are the bad ones. I actually never, the, my mom got her these. I should always check before she gets her something. It's my mom, I don't think she cares either. I'm sorry, but I will not let my child get sick. And I also think she might be a little sick right now, too, because she's eating a bunch of grass. And my dad has a bunch of paint downstairs. And I'm praying she didn't get into anything, but she's acting really weird. She was breathing really weird last night. This is fucking scaring me. Um... So I also just kind of want to go get her a little checkup. I should do that today. I'm going to schedule her an appointment. Today, we'll get your nails trimmed and we'll take you to the vet. Give you a little checkup. Maybe get your teeth cleaned. Ears checked. Eyes checked. Okay, also, that was scaring me. My sister-in-law, I don't know if you can really tell or like see them. She has like these, it looks like little camera lens in her eyes. And she was like, are those cataracts for me? I was like, bitch, they better not be. Is she starting to go blind on me? <sighs> I just, I can't lose my dog, dude. I'm going to lose myself. That's, that's my queen right there, man. She's about to turn six. I think I'm just overthinking it because of latte. But when I met him, he was like, so it was five years ago and he was 17. Yeah, he was 12 when I met him. So maybe a la lady could live, hopefully 14, but I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna let her suffer either, latte. I feel like it was a good time for him, but I do feel like he kind of went on too long um, and was definitely suffering in his last few moments. And that's just, yeah, I can't see that happen to her. I need more water. I need ice, dude. I hate, like, warm water. I know you're going to live 16 years. Better place. Um, I don't really know what I believe in, like, with death and everything, because it's a really hard one, but I do believe that there is a better place, um, 
that our energies travel to, you know? I don't think that there's, like, a whole nother life we live. Maybe. Who knows? Who who fucking knows? Those who have died have passed on. They know. But we don't. And, um... I just also find it really crazy how this world has been here billions of fucking years. And we're living in the time we do, you know? Like, <laughs> it's fucking weird. Hey, bitch, girlfriend. Oh, what's good? I actually need to shave today. Dude, can you see that? <gasps> no, no, no. I'm shaving it right now. I'm so sorry. I did not realize it was that long. I am not turning out like one of these fucking hippie bitches down here. I'm sorry. I love trees. I love hippies, but no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't do that. Oh, I need my soap. Shaving what? Did you not just see my armpits? Look at that. Oh my god. So my dad's shower. It works. I'll turn it on for you. It just doesn't get fucking warm at all. Like, he has his heater in there. You turn it on for a few minutes and it gets the bathroom really warm. Um, so that's what warms you up after the shower. But the water... He, I was talking to him. I was like, does your water not get warm? He was like because um, it's all connected to the bathroom sink and the kitchen sink, and the sinks get hotter than the shower does, so he, like, has to switch something. Turns on. Works. The water pressure's kind of shitty. But, um... Dude, I'm, like, shaving my armpits on here. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I did not even realize that. I don't even have shaving cream. I'm living like Larry right now, bro. Like, I don't care. Or I should say living like Luke. That was my homie. Larry. <laughs> living like Luke. That motherfucker. He got shot by the cops when he was 16. He took a vial of acid that was cut with PCP. Am I enjoying this? Bro, it's so nice. I love it. Now I'm not gonna chafe. Oh, I have all these like tiny little hairs. <laughs> I don't even have a towel in here, bro. Fuck. I think there's paper towels. <sighs> Thank you, brother. I love you so fucking much. And you know the fucked up thing is? Is he came here to fucking grab all my shit with me. He saw how our dad is living. And he, um, yeah. He knows what my dad's done to me. He knows everything. <laughs> my dad's friends. Um, I don't really talk about things. Because, um... That's part of my life that I I don't like to talk about because it's, you, you can guess, you can just take a guess. It's why I've been sexually active since I was five years old. Um, you know, and I just, I don't know, it's very hard to, um, to be here for me. But my dad has always been the only one to ever come to my rescue. I don't know. It wasn't, um... It, it was, yeah, it was, it was not okay. Um, but it wasn't, like, that. But it was, um... Yeah. I just saw and had a lot of things happen to me that shouldn't have happened at such a young age. But, um, yeah, um, being here is kind of like, um, reminded me a lot about it, you know? So that's also why I'm like, fuck you, bro. Like, I don't think he knows that part of my life though. Um, and if he did, he probably wouldn't have wanted me to come back here either. Um. Robbie, that's why he doesn't like my dad. That's why he doesn't 
like me ever talking to him, and we have a good relationship. That's what I mean. He's always been the only one. Um, it's really fucked up. Um, I don't... Why did I take my bowl? I keep peeing this vape and it hurts my stomach. I think it's the flavor. Dude, literally last night I was just sitting there fucking hitting that thing. And then it made me have to poop. And then I fucking run to go shit. And then I'm like having to throw up. And I was like, dude, this is weird. That's why I just stick to moles. My dad does not like that I smoke tobacco. I do, huh? See, I'm smoking like a pouch. Just out of. Ew. Do I need it? Maybe that's also what I should go do today. Get my nails done. Get a mani pedi and go spoil lady. I'm gonna spoil her first. I gotta save my money, dude. Get a fucking job. I'm trying to figure out my living situation, so. <laughs> That's kind of like my biggest thing. If I gotta sleep in my car some nights, I gotta sleep in my car some nights. But, right? Quick tobacco. That is honestly my, um, been another big goal for me this year. My first was cutting all toxic people out of my life, toxic situations. We've finally kind of done that. Now it's, um, gaining weight, getting back to being healthy, and quitting tobacco. Smoke pot instead. Ooh, actually, look what I got right now. I got some guava something. And, um... It's not the other one my girl gave me last time. But she gave me some fucking fire. These one nugs, so I got a new plug. He's chill as fuck. He doesn't hook it, though, at first. He was like, yeah, once you start buying off me, I'll start doing deals. And I was like, for sure. That's how it usually goes. Um... But look at these fucking nugs he gave me. Hold on, you have to see this one. I have it in its own jar, bro. I was like, he wants my pussy. And that's so dense, like... Oh, <gasps> oh! <laughs> Crumbs are flying. I don't even want to try to break her. It's too pretty. I'm saving this one. Like, I won't touch her until I'm all out. It's some indoor. It's guava something, but it's like. That's why. I, oh my god, I can't go to North Carolina. He's tr like, his plug's trying to get him to pay $3.20 for an ounce. Bitch, I get 80 for an ounce of like some pretty fucking fire. Like, I never complain. <laughs> Thank you. You're at first, so don't even shit i love you always have there's that one guy who's on here too oh my god actually though he's uh he's pretty cute i need to see you bro like why don't we okay we can facetime tonight how about that i was on facetime with robbie like all night last night i was supposed to go kick it with our homie gabe he's been kick hitting me up and it's so sad because i'd always go over there with robbie and his brother, and we'd all fucking kick it, like, this is the homie, dude, and now he's all lonely that they're not here, and he keeps hitting me up, and, like, I'm too, like, awkward to, like, go kick it with him alone, but it's just the homie, dude, I just feel like he's gonna try to hit on me, and I, I don't want that, I can't have that, it's just fucking weird, he's, like, 24, no, he's 23, he's, like, um, two years older than Robbie's older brother, and he's two, 21. About to turn 22. Robbie's about to turn 21. Hey! He can go to the club for me. What's up, you'd rob with me? I want to have you. You're kind of yummy. Good job. I look like hell right now, and I feel like hell, but thank you. I, like, haven't even had motivation to really do anything lately. Woo! It's cold. 
as fuck. It feels all nice in here, though, when I walked back in. I actually need to go turn this heat down. My dad's going to freak out at me. He always gets so mad, and I'm like, dude, I'm anemic. I'm sorry. I, like, am constantly just fucking cold. So you're only supposed to have your tattoo wrapped for 24 hours, right? Like, I'm not supposed to still have it wrapped. Because it's burning really bad. I don't know if it's going to get infected. Like, I don't know. This guy just, like, went for it, bro. <sighs> Let's see it. It's, like, right in where he did the shading that's super itchy and burny. Dude, that shit hurt so bad. I was like, fuck off. Because he had, like, already gone over it, like, five different times. Like, just the lines. And then he starts going inside of them and shading. And I'm like, oh, I'm all tender. I was like, let me drink or smoke or something. But I was already bleeding a lot. And I wasn't high or drunk or anything. It's not red, so good deal. Okay. If it's red, then I worry. <laughs> How long, like, does it take to heal? Like, a week or... You're definitely tender. It's really tender. Like, I kept waking up on that arm last night, like, when I'd roll over on it. And I would just, like, hit it the wrong way or do something. Uh-oh. See, this is why I can't vape and take moles. And in the morning, I get, like, hunger pains. <laughs> I'm not healthy. Like, it's fucked up. This is my breakfast. Fucking moles. Time is it? 7.30. Yeah, I woke up at like 6. What time does the pot shot open? I want to go get a cart. Oh, that hurt my stomach. Real bad. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna keep my bog outside. I just feel like it's reeking the house up. And I'm so used to the smell of it. I don't notice at all. Go outside. Oh my god, wait. You guys have to see these. I'm wearing one pair right now. They're red. They're super fucking cute. I got like a pack of them. Dude, fuck Victoria's Secret. I'm never going back. I got these for like nine bucks. And a full pack of them, bro. And they're so cute. Like, I want to wear these for someone. Look at that. Come on now, bitch. And the white ones. Hold on. And the red. Ooh. Hold up. Damn it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to wear these ones for you. Just for you. I only brought one pair of um, my lingerie. I'm really stupid. That's real me to wear. You know what? I keep fucking saying I'm going to do it. And I never do. So you know what? I think my dad has work today. I don't know. But he's coming home at 8 because he went and stayed at his... I think they're dating. I don't know. But they're fucking. That's what he said. And I was like, I please don't tell me that. Disgusting. Um, but he stayed at her house last night. And he wants me to rent a room from her. And I'm like, no... I'm good, dude. She's just another fucking crazy bitch that you're dealing with, and I don't want to get involved. Like, he always meets these crazy girls, and I'm just like, have fun. It's really funny, too, because, like, we've been talking a lot lately about, like, Robbie, and he keeps telling me, he's like, you should just wait till marriage next time. And I'm like, you're one to talk, dude. You can't, no, you can't tell me that. Because he's a Jehovah Witness. 
Oh, mama. I'm trying to pick her up. She's too tired. Do I gotta wake you? Mm. Good morning, little girl. I love your kisses. You wanna go have a girl's day? Girl's day, get our nails done. Huh? Yeah. Get your teeth clean too. You got pinky breath. I was also noticing just want to do this <laughs> but um she never used to have that on her teeth like that little yeah the yellow her teeth are getting yellow i don't know if you can whiten dog's teeth but i used to brush them like every time i give her a bath and then when we moved from the aptos house to hollister i lost her toothbrush and her toothpaste and just never got her some i should probably do that today too come here we're gonna go outside I know. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. You gotta go potty, huh? Come on. I need, like, coffee. I'm sweating right now. It's fucking hot in here. Water. Come on. Oh, it's cold. Go pee pee. Go pee pee. I did not just come out here. Come on. Good girl. Fucking gold. <sighs> Good girl, mama. Is. Where's you at the same spot? Right? No, she's finally gotten used to this spot. She pooped here. Uh few days ago like two days but she hasn't pooped since i'm like what the fuck i have to like actually take her down the beach where she usually likes to walk i'm just like waiting for someone that i know to drive by and i'm just like fuck this is not okay <laughs> right I swear, she's so stubborn. She's just eating grass. Come on, you want pee? I gotta feed you first. Maybe then you can poop. I'll take her on a walk to the beach today. Beach walk. Oh, now it's all fucking hot again. I turn that thing up to 70 and I'm just like, ooh. Should I roll a joint? I'm gonna roll a joint. You can never go wrong with a morning joint. Me, Wawa? Come here. She's just tie tie. <laughs> 